Hello there YouTube and welcome to uh, Wednesday the 26th of October. You know how one of the, my favorite things to do is to step out here and look over the forest? I love this forest. Love it with a passion. Quite possibly when we return today there'll be no trees here. Early this morning heard a rumbling roar There is some heavy equipment down there. Neither one of us are, we're just in our skivvies. I can't walk down and see what it is, but there's lights and all kinds of stuff. There's some big equipment down there. It looks like one of those machines that, that literally picks up a whole tree. they're not gonna log that forest across the way from us that is not that's not good that's not our land over there of a great big tree cutting thing and if, I don't know if you can hear that in the background but he's making a road through the forest to another road that's way down there where we used to go dirt riding but all this beauty is most likely gonna be gone and that will be the saddest thing ever think of all the displaced birds my dogs running through there loving them woods all of that will be gone it'll just be open barren wasteland goodbye my lovely lovely forest saddest freaking thing ever you guys know how i am about trees horrifying horrifying thing you can see right there where that massive crane thing went in. I think she made a bunch of racket and they were unloading it this morning. Bye my beautiful forest. That is so sad. All the times I went walking through there with our dogs. And, mm, horrifying. That's one crazy looking thing right there. Yeah. I think he's getting every accessory there is for it, including a cool trailer. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Ride home's gonna be fun. Well, mama? Yes. This ain't good. This is gonna be keep the keep the ways app running kind of a drive yeah. home today yeah, no what a mess it is nasty out there. The skies are angry. yeah the skies are angry <laughs> well, this is gonna be a hot freaking mess going home what the hell oh man he goes all the way from there sudden suddenly had a kfc turn right to urge 500 west fast. yeah honey <laughs> kfc Ow. Nobody knows the troubles I've seen <laughs> as we wait and wait and wait. Hot dang, we're actually moving. Yeah. Now we, we're like a mile from, from work, so our journey begins now. <laughs> Dead coming. So our woods are still here. I know you can't see it, it's too dark. So, it look like anything's missing at the moment. Yeah, we haven't made it. All. Oh, look at that little bunny. Oh, run, no bun bun. So, we have no idea. We're, we don't see any any horrific damage yet. No idea. Maybe we'll get out and investigate here. So, here's that crazy tractor. I don't know if you can even see it. But when we left, it looks like he just shot straight through the woods back there. Like he was building a road. I don't even see what the hell he's done. 
That's a creepy old tractor. I think it's making all kinds of noise. So, I guess we'll see. It's going to be a sad thing to not be able to look out here and see these woods out here. Hmm. Damn horses had us all freaked out. Freaked us out, so now the neighbor's horse is over there spazzing. Excuse me, spazzing out. Yeah, the neighbor's horse is like tripping out. Now it's got Leo going off. Yeah, look at him running. I know the camera's not picking it up. He's running, running our fence out there. He's going, what's going on? I want to play. <laughs> Crazy he hauls. Scares you when they don't come. You're thinking, oh my God, is there a fence down somewhere? Yeah. They're gone. What's, what's going on? <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. And how the heck are you guys doing today? Uh, talking last night about sleep. About 7 o'clock I sat down at the desk and I woke up at 9 o'clock. He was gone. Had gone, no, gone. I don't even remember sitting there being tired or anything. I just went, boop. And I'm like, kind of, you know how you just like crawl out of this deep sleep so I get trying to fight out of it. It's like, what's going on? It's like you're all drugged and you're trying to crawl out. And I like finally come out of it and I'm looking around going, um, is this morning? Am I, and I'm looking I at the computer. That. Was I in the middle of doing my building my video? And I'm, I was at nine o'clock. What's good? You know, trying to figure out who you are, where you are, what time it is. What happened? Kelly goes, see, you do need sleep. It just catches yes, up does. to you to a point and goes. Whoosh. I know it. Yeah, you guys, I should have filmed it because it, it was really cute. He was sitting there and then pretty soon the head goes down <laughs> yeah. and it goes down and goes down and goes down. That's what she does <laughs> going like... down the road in the car. And I finally chair said, Kelly, set the, the seat back and be comfortable. <sighs> I don't know how that's comfortable nodding, but. I, we all I, do it. Yeah, I keep trying to stay awake and listen to you. And pretty soon it's like, can I just like, <laughs> it was like just doing let some me old go to 70s, sleep? What is that one thing? Some some dance doing or something really corny like that? Oh, yeah. 60s or 70s, he did the roll thing. Sit there with that ru just did a rubber band spinning. <laughs> yeah. Well, that thing... From this morning, and then I got it with that tractor. I know that thing went way deep in the woods. It's too it, dark to see, a, but yeah, you can't see. It just looks like he went in about fifty to hundred feet, and that's it. But when we left, it sounded like he was way deep in the woods. But I know what that thing is, and I know what they do, and he ain't here to clear up no brush. No, and that's just the act of unloading that thing. It's uh, thousands of dollars, so you're not going to just, you know, just unload it to clear up a little bit of brush. Yeah, they're going to hack a whole bunch of trees down. You and know? they're just creating roads or something. Yeah, just, yeah, they wouldn't just cut a path through there, which it doesn't even look like they cut a path. Unless they're cutting woods deeper in, but there's another, there's an access road down the highway into that. I mean, it would make no sense to go through that way yeah. and um, well the, you know the people that own that land there used to be old trucks and stuff back there god you know i've got vlogs and stuff oh, of that yeah before that was, i was doing yeah, any kind of eight years ago yeah eight nine years ago yeah but i mean they moved it has been that long ago since they moved it but anyway that used to be trails and there's actually little roads that ran through there you could tell what all was back there, I have no idea. But there was a little road that kind of ran through. And there was these two old trucks. And they had like old motors in there. Like big V8s in the back of these old trucks. And it was like this staging area. It went from a really old. And they're all Fords. And it was a really old Ford. 
a little bit newer, a little bit newer. The last one looked like it was probably late 70s or whatever. And they were stacked. It's like as he wore the truck out, he'd pull it out, out in line back there, and that's where it got left. Yeah, and then anything, you know, motor or truck related. I mean, the backs were filled full yeah, it was of crazy. all kinds of stuff. But everything to do with cars and, you know, trucks and stuff like that. But that old, apparently the, that old gentleman had passed on. And uh, this was years ago, my oldest son, Kyle, was friends with the young young boy down the street. And, and uh, they come in and they go, yeah, they go, I guess that old guy passed away. And they're talking about logging all that land out there, you know. And uh, I know we looked into it at one point and it, it was like, 44 acres or 46 acres something that yeah, parcel of land. of land with all the trees on there and um i don't know that when we were thinking go that'd be cool to buy that thing so nobody cuts it down plus you know it'd be your land land yeah awesome thing to have you know and um that's about the time the economic downturn you know the world recession or whatever oh, yeah. they were calling it and um we just bagged that idea and but the crazy there so you think you're all safe and sound and nope yeah when it sold when it sold last i forget what the date was but when it had sold last it sold for 5800 bucks oh jesus whatever it was it was either 44 or 46 i know it was it was just under 50 acres sitting out there but we never never pursued it and you know you know what kills you is because whoever you know if they clear it that's bad enough but then they're going to put homes there and it's not like they'll put a home like farther back there they're going to put it 50 feet from my house oh yeah when they build houses well oh. probably out here it wouldn't be that way but it could you know yeah i mean they could they do... could decide no i just want to go right across the road from you yeah, I mean you have no say in it. It's their land; they can do what they want with it. Yeah, and now I've got. If they dogs parcel that thing out, life. you know, and you get some contractor to come out here and put. I mean, again, they wouldn't do that outside of city limits, as far away. But I mean, they could. Somebody could put some apartments or something there. It's just no telling what it is, you know. Yeah, it's not your land. You have no say. So I mean, it's just right there, though. Yeah, and right. Um, it was right after we moved here, or right before we moved in, the land just down the, farther down the road, um, they stripped that all out. God, that yeah. that was a good, it was a good 50 plus acres out there. Yeah. Just went through there and clear cut, and then it just sits. But, you know, because the, uh, the wood is so valuable. You yeah. know, the value of, of, of the timber out there is just phenomenal. And it, you always seem to run in the same scenario you know someone in the family passed on and they have this land and the kids you know not only they got you know they got willed this land and they the dollar signs start flipping through their through their minds of what that wood is worth and they're not going to do anything with it you know they're they live in another state or whatever they're not going to do anything with it yeah, clear so cut that thing and yeah and I mean, it's massive money them trees are worth. So, the power yeah. of the God Almighty dollar, and that's how you end up with that land down farther down the gravel road, off to the right. It just got stripped and ruined, and nobody's you know no plans you know. No, they just sometime sold the timber. In the future. Yeah, and you know this could be the case here, but I mean this has been kind of a ongoing threat. But it's been so long since we heard any updates about it, we forgot about it. Yeah. But, you know, here, that's probably four or five years ago, there was a big threat that that, that was going to get logged. And then to scare us even more, some people came out and it had to be the guy's relatives, whatever, and they, they dug through all them trucks and then finally the trucks got drug out of there. And, and now you walk back there, and, you know, you, you'd never know the trucks were there ever. Yeah. It's yeah, a bunch of stuff. But, woods and underbrush and little bunnies yeah. and birds and other animals that have homes out there yeah just think of them owls that ate all your cats and hawks <laughs> well those can go away but 
But no, it's cool to have them, you know, the owls, especially the owls, these big old owls out there. And I mean, huge. These things are like frighteningly large. You don't see them. You hear them. Yeah. You see them every once in a while and they come flying over and it's like, oh my God, that was an owl. I know. It looks like a B-52 bomber coming through, you know, going across. Yeah. The ones we've seen out in these woods are these great big old gray owls. Huge, massive things. I'm going, yeah, that'd pick up a small dog. Yeah. That's probably where my kitties go. No, oh, I'm pretty sure it is. Because but... I have kitties for a while and then they go away. Well, it... As soon as they decide that, hey, outside is cool, yeah, when you... that's when they go away. When you see one of them cats roaming out in the field, you're going, dead kitty. Yep. But anyway, Mama, hopefully our woods survive, but we're going to have to, we're gonna have to roll yeah, just gonna have to a time-wise thing. All right. Well, you guys take care. We appreciate you watching very, very much. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to like. Try not to dislike. Hit the subscribe button and share it if you'd like to, which we do appreciate it very much. Oh, heck yeah. And we will talk to you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. That's a mouthful. I know. It's a mouthful. Gross. I hear your cat. In the litter box. That's never. Why it's is not that never? It's my cat. It's our cat. That's right. Well, yeah. your cat, because I never touch it. Well, if you didn't go <laughs> at it all the time, then it would like come crawl in your yeah. lap. I was I allergic to him? Probably. I'm, I may just do that. He was never allergic to Marley, though. Yeah, I got even. Yeah. I actually would actually touch that thing every once in a while. Yeah, yeah Marley was. I say that. Marley as was like Jasmine, though. Up. You know, you were not allergic to Jasmine either. Yeah, some cats, it just depends on how much Jasmine they... Jasmine thought, you know, she was a dog. That cat full on thought it was a dog. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Crazy. Would stay right with you. Jasmine, come on, you can go camping. Stay right there and camp with you. Come yep. on, Jazz. Call it and come right away every time. A yeah. little camper and want to hang out every once in a while. They'd let it out, go do its little thing, and come back, scratch on the door, let it back in. It's, yeah. It's like a damn dog. It's the craziest thing. I know it. I miss Jazzers. Yeah, that was a cool cat. Never put a collar on a cat again, as long as I live. <laughs> yeah, that was scary. Poor old Jazz, you met a horrible end. Because but of the collar. Yep. Yeah, that'll be another story. Yep. Yeah. we got to go. <laughs> uh, so, um, keep your fingers crossed about the forest. I know it's fate. It's probably not very good. But there's always hope. I literally thought I was going to see it gone when I come back. And for all that racket they did this morning, it didn't look like they did anything but knock some small brush down out there. So Maybe they were, like, knocking it down and trying to figure out how they're going to put a road yeah. in there or something. Yeah. I can hope that, you know, they're just trying to put a road in there, clear out, like, a little section to put a house there or something. Yeah, but you wouldn't use one of I those know. mass production I tree hey, eaters. You know, I... I have, I know. like, That's, hope. Yeah, me too. Man, boy, do I ever. All right, so, until tomorrow. See you guys. Thank you very much. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now.